Okay, kindergarten, let's do a quick review for foundations today. We're going to review another digraph. Yesterday we reviewed the SH digraph. SH makes a sh sound. We're going to review the CH digraph today. So C normally makes a K sound. H normally makes a H sound. But when it's a C and then an H together, it makes a CH ch sound like chin, ch, ch, chin. Okay? All right. Let's just real fast, we'll write some CH words together just for a quick review. Okay? All right. So you're going to need your foundations dry erase board and dry erase marker. You can always pause the video and get that um, and then unpause the video when you're ready. Okay? The first word, let's try to write. First CH word is chin, ch, ch, chin. So listen to the word ch, in. Is the CH sound at the beginning of the word or the end of the word? Ch, in. It's at the beginning of the word, right? So ch, ch, chin starts with a CH. So here's my CH, makes a ch sound. What's the next sound you hear in ch? I, I, that's an I. So remember lowercase letters. Ch, in, n, n, like nut. That's an in. So our word chin is C H I N. Look, we know C H makes a cha sound. We know I N together. That's one of our old sight words. In. So ch, in, chin, like this is my chin. Okay, let's, you can leave the CH if you want, but let's erase the I and the N. Now I want you to do C-H-A-T. So our word is C-H-A-T. Try to sound that out. Try to figure out what that says. We know CH makes a ch sound. A makes an a sound. T makes a t sound. In fact, you might know the word AT. It's one of our old sight words. At, at. So put them together. Ch, at. Ch, at. Chat. Like to chit chat, to call somebody on the phone and chit chat, to talk to them. Chat. Okay, you can leave the CH, but I want you to erase the A and erase the T. Now, let's try to spell a little bit harder of a word. Let's try to spell the word chimp, like Jane Goodall worked with chimpanzees um, in Africa, and chimp is like an abbreviation, a nickname for the animal chimpanzee. So ch, 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 i, i, that's another I. Ch, i, n, n, that's an M. Ch, i, n, p, p, chimp. That's a P at the end. That was kind of a long word. Ch, I, N, P. All right, let's erase our word. Now, last word I want us to spell has the CH at the end of the word. We've been spelling words with CH at the beginning. Now this word has a CH at the end of the word, okay? So the word I want to spell is catch, like catch the ball, catch, ch, ch. Do you hear how that CH sound, catch, ch, is at the end of the word? Okay, k, k, catch, that's a C, k, a, k, a, that's an A, and there's actually kind of a sneaky T next, cat. It's a sneaky T. So far we spelled cat, right? Catch, ch, catch. 
there is that CH sound at the end. So C A T C H. We know C H makes a ch sound. We know C A T spells cat. So we have catch. Catch. Like catch the ball. All right, that was it for our quick CH review for foundations. So put your marker cat back on, erase your dry erase board, and put your dry erase board and your marker back in your foundations bag so it'll be ready for next time. Velcro your foundations bag, and you're all done with foundations.